hey guys this is a very quick video tutorial I'm doing today it's just part of the tips and tricks videos that I release from time to time um, and it's really just about uh, something I've noticed that new users of SketchUp do this happens a lot and I find myself advising students um, to correct this all the time it must be just something to do with part of the learning curve when you are first using SketchUp and also when you are becoming more familiar with drawing conventions and creating floor plans so here is the floor plan that I teach you how to create in SketchUp in course number three course number three is called creating a furniture layout and lighting plan and just for your information this is the lighting plan right here I show you how to do a color coded lighting plan but let's go back to the furniture layout and you will see that there are very clear gaps around the side tables um, with regards to their distance from the walls very clear gaps there and you'll also notice that there's also a very clear gap between the sofa and the wall and it's the same on this side as well and you will also notice that the bookcase is right up against that wall there is no gap and if I just zoom in you can see that there is absolutely no gap and sometimes in uh, floor plans you can have items that would normally be positioned very very close to the wall right up against it in the floor plan with no gap that is very allowed it's very welcome and the reason why it's very important that you don't have a very very tiny gap like this so what I'm going to do is move this there okay so we've got a really really tiny gap there and if I zoom out what you will notice is that that very very tiny gap actually looks like a bold line you can see this very very clearly and when you print that out it might also look like a bold line as well so if you have a lot of pieces of furniture that are up against a wall but with a tiny tiny gap all over your floor plan you're going to end up with what looks like a lot of different line weights all over it and guys it's just not very professional I teach you guys how to create a high standard of floor plan and I really want you to produce floor plans that are of a really high standard because that's the standard that I expect from myself and I also expect it from you so when I'm teaching you how to position the elements in your floor plan for example the furniture make sure there is a very visible gap between the piece of furniture and the wall and if the piece of furniture is normally right up against the wall like in this instance a bookcase then place it right on that internal line guys and I'm going to show you how to do that right now so let's move this out of the way let's snap onto the midpoint of this line you can see the midpoint very clearly because it says on a label midpoint in group click and drag and what we're going to do is snap that right on the edge of that line off the wall and then click and if I just click off that so that the blue bounding box is no longer visible and if we zoom in you will see that there is no gap at all so what I want you all to remember is that when positioning furniture and especially kitchen worktops guys there should be no gap between a kitchen worktop and the wall it should look like this no gap so going forward when you're creating a floor plan and you're positioning furniture I want you to start focusing on the finer details we don't want really really small gaps anymore we either want no gap or like this one right here a visible gap so that we no longer have lines that look like bold lines when really they're two lines close together 
Now, this is really important because I'm going to launch a five-day challenge, which is going to include floor plans. And I'm going to be looking out for this, guys, because I want to see more and more people not doing this anymore and having really, really high-quality professional floor plans. I hope this helps.